I don't know how you feel about it, but I personally think that by default, jumping up and down a page in Vim here with control D, actually that's half a page or up with control U, it's kind of hard to understand what exactly happened. Same thing if it comes to control B for a full page and F for a full page in reverse or up. So when I'm moving around this way, I have a hard time understanding where I was at and where I'm at now. And if I don't understand that, I have a hard time understanding where exactly I jumped to. Even with a half page jump here, where you can see if I go up here, you can see control U is on line 17. That's where I'm going to land, control D. Nonetheless, it happens so fast. There's no sort of animation to let me know where exactly I scrolled to. Did I scroll up or down? I'm not quite certain. And so what I found is I like this plugin here called Neo Scroll. And I like it because if I enable this here, save that and I will reload. Now, when I jump down, watch this, control D, you can see there's a little scroll animation. Do it again, you can definitely tell I'm moving down. Whereas with U, you can easily see I'm moving up. Same thing for B here and control F to move down. It's easy to understand where I was at and where I'm jumping to. And so this can apply to a variety of different keys that can jump you up and down through your document. For example, I've also mapped control Y and control E here. So that's just like a three line shift in my case. You can see it's not a huge shift, but still it gives a little bit of a scroll animation. So I can see that I was just moving down a few lines here. And of course I also mapped page up and page down to it. By default, those were not mapped actually. And then in my case here, I adjusted the timing as well. I've set it to 350 milliseconds. I just feel better about that. Actually, let me show you this here. Let's make a change to that. Let's change that to something drastic like 800. I'll save that and I'll reload. All right, so now this is for page up and page down. Watch this here. See, that to me is way too slow. And I also felt the same way about 450. So that's why I adjusted that and set that to 350 instead. And if I jump down here, you can see there's mappings here for ZZ, which centers, as well as ZT and ZB. So you can map all three of those. And then in this case, because how far it has to scroll may vary depending on where it's at. Like if I come down a few lines here, if I then come up here and I do ZB, it's only gonna have to move three lines. So it's a lot less time. Whereas if I've got this on top and I do ZB here, that has to scroll a full page. And so in this case, you can see here, you're setting the timing in terms of moving half of the window. And it'll be a fraction of that if you move less, or it'll be double that if you have to move the full window. So definitely check out this plugin. You jump up to that there. Definitely check out this Neo Scroll plugin. It is well worth the time to add to Vim.